Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Tonight's video is the third in our series of spooky trilogy. Make sure you watched Monday and Tuesday nights so that tomorrow, Halloween, when I do my giveaway, You'll be in the know and have the answer to the question so you can be entered into the most wonderful Halloween giveaway yet. So, tonight's video, oh, but wait, before I get too much further, tonight's spooky look is of course by me. It is Forest Flame from the new Falling For You collection. Absolutely gorgeous red shade, blood red as a matter of fact. And uh, what might it go with? None other than Vampire Blood from Bath & Body Works. And uh, yeah, I prefer the OG version of Vampire Blood. Has scent notes of red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. An absolutely amazing scent. I love this one. It's got a perfect mixture of berry, a little bit of jasmine in there and they say plum but i don't get a lot of plum but enough about that i suspect you're here for the spooky stories so sit back get comfortable and let's get spooky tonight's story is the curse of the vampire baby in a small isolated village Nestled deep within an ancient forest, the air was thick with whispers of a dark legend. The townspeople spoke of a cursed child, a vampire baby. She was named Aelin, born on the night of a blood moon. It was said that she brought doom to all who crossed her path. The elders of the village warned everyone not to stray too close to the edge of the woods, especially after nightfall, for the cries of the cursed baby could lead anyone to their doom. One stormy night, a skeptical young couple, Mia and Jake, yearned for some adventure, dismissing the village lore as mere superstition. They ventured into the woods determined to uncover the truth. Armed with flashlights, and heck, even Mia brought along some vampire blood, they believed they could protect themselves from whatever lie in the darkness ahead of them. As they wandered deeper into the forest, an unnatural stillness seemed to envelop them. The wind howled through the trees, and the moonlight cast eerie shadows all over the ground. Suddenly, they heard it. A soft, heart-wrenching cry, echoing deep through the trees. Did you hear that? Mia asked, trembling. Jake nodded. But what was it? It sounds like a baby. Compelled by an inexplicable pull, they followed the sound deeper into the dark woods. Their hearts pounding with equal parts fear and curiosity. As they approached a clearing, the cries grew louder, mingled with a chilling laughter that sent shivers down their spines. In the center of the clearing, under a flickering moon, lay a small, ornate cradle. The cries grew more desperate as they drew nearer. Jake hesitated, glancing at Mia. We shouldn't be here. This feels wrong. But Mia, unable to resist, she stepped closer. What if it's a lost child? She whispered, peering into the cradle. As she leaned over, the air shifted, and she was met with a sight that stole her breath. <gasps> Inside the cradle lay Ayla, her tiny form wrapped in a velvet blanket, a crimson velvet blanket, her eyes glowing with an unnatural light. Her light skin was pale, almost translucent, and her tiny fangs glinted in the moonlight. Mama, Aelin cooed, 
reaching up with tiny hands that seemed to beckon Mia closer. Mia's heart raced. There was something terrifyingly beautiful about this child. This tiny, inexplicitly beautiful creature. Something inside her wanted to protect it. Dare I call it a maternal instinct? We can't leave her, she whispered, glancing at Jake. Jake stood frozen in terror. The terror etched across his face. Jake's instinct screamed for them to run. But before he could voice his fears, Aelin began to giggle. The sound so sweet, yet so haunting. Play with me. She sang, her voice like a little siren's call. The couple exchanged glances. Their earlier skepticism now replaced with complete unease. Suddenly the atmosphere shifted, becoming charged with a palpable darkness. The trees around them creaked ominously, and shadows seemed to stretch before them, as if the forest itself was alive and hungry. Let's go, Jake urged. He took a step back. This isn't right. But Mia, Mia was entranced. She reached out to touch Aelin, gently reaching, ever wanting to touch this small, beautiful creature. Her fingertips brushed across the soft blanket. As she did, the air crackled with energy and the baby's eyes locked onto her, filled with a hunger that belied her innocent appearance. Help me, Aelin cried, her voice morphing into something sinister, echoing with a thousand tormented souls. Feed me. Jake grabbed Mia's arm, pulling her away as the shadows began to swirl, encasing them in complete darkness. Run, he shouted, and they turned quickly and sprinted back the way they had come. The cries of the vampire baby echoing behind them. As they fled, the forest seemed to shift and warp around them. The trees closed in. The path ahead twisted and turned into some type of a macabre maze. Panic surged through them as they stumbled tripping over roots and tree branches, desperately trying to escape the clutches of the forest. A chilling laughter filled the air, wrapping around them like a shroud. You can't leave me. You're mine. Aelin's voice echoed, a dreadful promise that made their skin crawl. Finally, they burst through the tree line, the village lights flickering in the distance. But as they looked back, they saw her, Aelin, standing at the edge of the woods, her small figure silhouetted against the moonlight. Her eyes glowed and her mouth twisted in a sinister smile, feeling rows of sharp little teeth. Breathless, they stumbled into the village, collapsing against the safety of the walls. The villagers gathered around them, their faces a mixture of concern and fear. Mia and Jake recounted their tale, but the villagers merely shook their heads as if they've heard this many times before. That night, the villagers were restless. Every time the wind howled, townsfolk swore they could hear the soft cries of a baby echoing through the trees. A haunting reminder of the vampire child who lurked in the shadows, forever searching for her next victim. And as the nights passed, Mia and Jake would find themselves haunted by dreams of the cursed baby. Her laughter echoing a chilling promise that they would never truly escape. Aelin was out there waiting, hungry for the warmth of life and determined to claim what she believed was hers. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's bone-chilling tale of the cursed baby, the cursed vampire baby. 
What did you think of our little trilogy series? Definitely let me know in the comments below. And make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow, Halloween's awesome giveaway that we will be doing here at Making It Happen with Mary. And until then, stay spooky, my dear friends.